Een delegatie van de wereldwijde Rozenkruisers Orde Amorg heeft op maandag 4 april haar opwachting gemaakt bij president Chandrika Persat Santoki. Het staatshoofd ontving onder meer imperator Claudio Masuko op het kabinet van de president. Amorg streeft ernaar de mens uitzicht te bieden op een bestaan dat met zijn bestemming overeenkomt en tevens in harmonie met zichzelf te leven. Amorg uh, or ancient and mystical order of the Crucis is a um, philosophical and spiritual organization, not a religious one, because we have members from different religions inside, and uh, we are present in more than 100 countries, and we are part of an ancient tradition. Our movement started, historically speaking, in the 17th century in Germany, a few years before the 30 years war. And, uh, but it's, uh, uh, it's more ancient, in, in fact, we talk about the ancient Egypt as a region of this tradition. So we have uh, teachings, uh, we are organized by languages, so here we have the Dutch language, and uh, we, are, we have this teaching that helps people to know themselves. It sounds very easy, but it's not easy, absolutely, no, it's, we, we need the entire life to understand. But we walk in this path, understanding better each other, ourselves, our relationship with the nature, with God we trust, because it can be very different from uh, each person. So this is the tradition, this is one tradition that helps people to find a meaning for the life. Why we are here, where are we going, where, uh, where we come from, the most important questions that I think that we will never find the final answer for this, but these are the fundamental questions that help us to walk. Yes. The president is uh, normally when we visit a country, we are received by authorities, and then uh, in this case, I want to, to share, to express to the president the incredible experience I had in this country. Because obviously I knew uh, Suriname, I lived many years in Brazil, but I have never been here, it's the first time. And I could not imagine so many different cultures living together. And uh, to be honest, I think it's an example for the world. It's not something easy or something that we should consider natural. It's an incredible example. I could see pictures on the wall written in Chinese or different cultures, languages, symbols. So. Uh, it created an incredible impression to me, and I wanted to, to express this, uh, this um, sensation, these thoughts to the president, because I think that as a maximum authority, he works in this direction. He works to help people to maintain and to grow in this sense, because the diversity is something very important, very important. Natural touch teach us that is with the diversity we grow. So this was the reason of my visit. Very positive. We found ourselves in total harmony. Uh, he expressed some thoughts. Uh, in, we are in total harmony in this, in this sense. Obviously, we have always good thoughts, good intentions, and then we have to work to realize it. And this is the most difficult part. We have values, we have ideals, and we have to work to realize it. It's not, and we understand that it's not, it's not easy. Uh, but I, I think that, uh, again, the Suriname's example is something that should be expressed in, around the world because I'm not convinced that people around the world know Suriname in this way. You know? uh, normally we talk about tourism, but there is something much more important. The, way this, the, the fact that we can share this incredible environment together in harmony. This is something very, very important.